Thank you guys for all your love uh, on my last post about that bass drum. I thought I'd talk about my main kick now. Um, the obvious things, the front head is off. Um, I guess traditionally, you know, obviously that creates sustain if you've got another bass drum head. Um, there's more potential for the air to move around and vibrate the front and make and make tone. Um, and I, there's a lot of photos of old recordings that I've seen with, with, with front heads off. Um, and I decided to do it and I kind of like the results. Uh, I like the sort of dryness of the, the main kick now. So I toggle between these three microphones here. Uh, there's a, the, the middle one there is a vintage uh, 421 Sennheiser. That's quite a sort of fronty microphone. Creates quite a lot of click, you know, kind of clicky sound. Uh, and I've got it mounted on a Kelly shoe. Um, and then I love this thing. This is a Solomon Mike's uh, Low Freak, which is essentially like the uh, sub kick. Um, but in some respects works in a better way, to be honest. Um, it's kind of more equipped to, to handle sort of bottom end. I like it. Um, and then the third microphone I've got here is a sort of kind of standard uh, mic that you see on bass drums, which is a, a FET 47 Neumann. And that is a lovely, beautiful, clean, fantastic microphone. Um, so I toggled between the three um, for whatever people want. You know, if they want a really clean sound or a, a traditional sound, I'd probably go with a with a fet <laughs> um and if they want the sort of more contemporary stuff that i'm doing that it's these two um yeah so let's uh let's see what it sounds like in the room with my iphone i'm also going to bring this little guy in which is a ball and biscuit mic uh which is a lovely microphone that will come out of uh, from a ssl desk um and i got that hanging in the room that adds a lot of crunch to to my entire mix so let's have a listen to this, baby. This is what it sounds like on the iPhone. And this is what it sounds like with my gear.